as you can tell by the title, I did it masters in ranked. Um, I had a lot of people always asking stuff like, when are you gonna play ranked? When are you gonna do this? When are you gonna get legendary? When are you gonna get mythic? I had somebody comment not too long ago saying that um, I'm not even mythic, but I have 50k trophies. So I thought that was funny. I don't play the uh, competitive modes at all. So um, I had to like walk in, you know, I had to prove that I could play with like masters players, you know. So I sort of pushed myself to play ranked. I can't stand the mode, to be honest. Um, people just don't know how to draft. And that's what, that's what makes it like annoying for me to play, to be honest, because people just don't know the meta. I don't know why. I feel like my enemies know the meta, but my teammates will just first pick like their favorite brawler and not have any regards for anything else. It's crazy to say the least, but I did it masters and it it wasn't that hard to be honest. No, I'm not gonna carry you to masters. Please do not ask. <laughs> I'm not gonna carry you to masters. I don't think I'm that good. I could get to Masters by myself with randoms. That's what I did for like literally the whole thing. I played with a teammate on my final game just to ensure that I got to Masters. But um, I literally played with the randoms this whole time. So I don't think I could carry a Diamond player to Masters. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I could probably carry to Mythic maybe. Maybe Legendary. Who knows? Um, but we get the dub in that first game right there. I'm on the Angelo, I did not have a good game here. I had to be mid with no wall break, so I was just getting destroyed by Grom the whole game, to be honest. It was really impossible for me to do anything against the Grom. I would have been better right lane because I could like get such good peeks at everybody, but it was just so hard going against this Grom right here when he has this wall. Um, we get a good assist there. We get the Jesse and Leon finishes it off. Um, as I was saying though, I'm gonna play rank next season as well, especially since I'll have the, um, the bonus to get there, you know, like, the, um, I don't know what it's called, the bonus points, um, so I'm gonna be trying to get Devil Masters, I don't think it'll be too hard, but it should be fun, I'm gonna be streaming it, of course, I stream on my second channel, the link is in the description for that. Um, that was a really bad jump there by me. I could have jumped more toward the right. My Leon gets cooked right there. It's quite unfortunate. And I just really can't do anything with this Grom, as I was saying. Um, it's just really hard for me to do anything against Grom, to be honest. Especially if um, he has the wall. I just can't really do anything besides maybe gadget over. This is why I try to get to this right lane here because as I'm realizing that like I cannot contest the mid I just have to go right lane and I have to like flank them and try and just make it really hard for them. It's right there. They get a kill on the Grom. I'm just up here healing. I think I poisoned the Jesse. I may have. I'm not too sure but they're really low right there. Um we just need to get like a kill because the time's running out. Leon pops hypercharge, goes and gets two kills. He goes down. Right here it's 1919, but we have blue star. We have blue star, so we have no reason to go and kill them there. We go ahead and win this game. 19 to 19 with the blue star advantage. I went 0 and 2. Not my best game. Um, but we got a good amount of elo there. We're at 8896. Next one. Alright, in this next game now, I'm on the buzz. Chat was telling me to go buzz. They saw Frank, they saw Chester, two of like the worst brawlers in the game. And Maisie, Maisie's decent against me, but Maisie just isn't that good against everything else. You know, Maisie just hasn't been that good since they nerfed um, her supercharge rate. So, Chat was screaming at me for a buzz legacy game. And I don't know. I'm I'm decent on Buzz. 
I think Buzz is probably one of my better brawlers that I play, just cause like, I don't know, I wanna, whenever I play Buzz, I just log in, I get, I get like, um, extra skills, I guess, I don't really know how to explain it, but I just log in kinda, right here, this is the worst play of my life, that was the worst play of my life, easily, I don't know why I thought the Frank would stay there, right now we have a good lead though, that's all that really matters, KD is cool, but I'd rather win the game, you know, so, right here I'm just gonna retreat, no need for me to eat shots by the Maisie, I'll just reach in, charge my super, Jesse goes crazy right there with those shots, right here I'm gonna pop hyper charge, we're gonna go into the Frank, take him down, Chester's really like over the Maisie play, if I would've got that, that would've been insane, sometimes I feel myself a buzz, sometimes you just gotta make those plays with buzz, if I would have made it, that would have been a crazy play. Right here, I take out the Chester. I use my super, but I die to the Chester poison gas. Quite unfortunate there. Because I had a double stun, I believe. So that was quite unfortunate. But, I mean, we have such a large lead right now. It's... It's fine. I'm just sitting in this zone right here, trying to get extra time. And we sit there. And Macy pushes us out. But Jesse gets the extra zone time. So... We win game one. Um, fairly easy to be honest. It was not very that hard. Not very hard at all. Especially I'm I'm really confident on Buzz that I could like just stand my own ground and team wipe what I need to, you know. I'm very confident with my buzz. So right here, go in, get this chest now, we trade because the Frank gets me. Um, but I'm really confident that I could just, like, once I get one super, I just really won't waste it. That's at least my goal. But sometimes, you know, I just get a little courageous, a little bold, and I make crazy plays. I'm always going for the clip with Buzz. I'm always going for the crazy clip. Go right here, get the Maisie down, get super back, go after this Chester. And that's just the confidence that I have. Look at the Buster. He's BMing. back by the Maisie there. We do go down. Maisie's the only really good counter to me, I guess. I don't think Maisie, I don't think of her of that much as a counter, though, because if I super onto her, she's dead. That's how I see it. So, I don't really think of her as much of a counter there. Jesse gets a takedown on the Frank. I go in here on the Maisie. Um, just gonna regen right here. Gonna pop a hypercharge. Gonna dodge the Frank super. Absolute Matrix play right there. Take out the Chester. We get a double kill. Get a really smooth double kill right there. And we clean the hot zone. So that was a really cool way to end it. Uh, chat was screaming like a C-Buzz play right there. Problems, y'all. But <laughs> that was a really cool play to like dodge the Frank Super and everything. And look how close we are. 89-78 on the ELO. So we basically just need one more game. Let's get into that game right now. All right, the bounty game. This is the bounty game, the final game. I brought in Boye. You can see Boye on the right. I brought him in for this game just because I didn't want to get sold on my final game. Boye is on the Angelo. And I'm just going to let you guys know right now. Bro went crazy. That's all I'm going to say. Bro went absolutely crazy right here. I get a good shot onto the G. Um, and Bell gets the finish. All three of us hit that gene right there to get the takedown. And I think I went mid here just because I wanted to be able to heal both my lanes. My, just to give them that extra advantage, even if I'm not doing the most damage myself right here. I die. I tried throwing my super down really quickly so we could maintain that aggro position, but I just couldn't get it quick enough. Right here, I just gotta heal the Bell. I'm just gonna pop my super on her. I know I could get another super, so I'm fine. I got really low right here. Just pop a gadget real quick. Bell goes down, unfortunately. I could not heal her quick enough. But we're in a good spot, you know. We have a three-star lead. We have blue star. Our Angelo can't die, and that's it. If our Angelo dies, then we have to play more aggro. But right now, we're in a really good spot. Just going to heal my Angelo up some more. He's got his super to heal him too. Um, right here, Cole goes.
posing for a super Gene tries and supers me right there. Gene missed his super and I was 100% unaware that he was there. I really was unaware that the Gene was there with super. So dodging that super unintentionally felt really good. Felt really good. I probably wouldn't have dodged it had I known he was there, if we're being honest. Mario, right, you're in a really bad position. This is not the position you want to be in. In Bounty with the game expiring. Um, I go in, I heal my Angelo, he gets pulled, he jumps away, gets the finish, and we win game one. That was a bit of a scary ending. I'm not gonna lie, a bit of a scary ending, not the ending that I had won in there, but we got the victory. Um, my Angelo played really well there. But that was a scary game. That really was. That's just never the position you want to be in. You always want to stand your ground. And um, we got pushed back really well there because the Gene Super, because the Colt Super, I think Brock had Hypercharge as well. So we were forced to kind of go back, but luckily we won game one. All right, so game two now. Um, we're kind of pushed back already. Right here, I'm trying to heal my bell. I want my bell to go in really aggro. Like I want my bell to go in aggro so she can um, get the finish on the Gene, but Angela gets it instead. That gives us the lead. And the, we have a blue star as well. So that's a really good start for us. That's a really good start for us. Um, got the Brock right here to our left side. I'm just gonna pop a gadget to heal. I'm gonna heal my teammate. He's gonna gadget it out just to play it safe. But Bell gets the finish on the Brock. This Colt pops a, a silver bullet, which I thought was funny because it's unbreakable walls in the mid. And I thought, I thought maybe he was going to try and break the walls. I don't know what he was attempting. Um, but I got a takedown on the Brock. Bell gets a takedown on the goal. And you can just see the lead we have right now. Dominant lead. 16 to 1. Like, what are they even supposed to do? And I'm just hitting shots right here. I pop a super on myself. And I just stay alive there. Just stay alive. I think I pop a super and gadget to stay alive. And get the final kill. And we win the game we win look at the angelo master class 10 and 0 angelo master class and we have masters so beautiful i had everyone saying masters win masters win you're not even legendary you have 50k trophies i did it y'all and you can do it too so hope you guys enjoyed it